This is going to be a quick tour of the uh, Sign RTA. So here it is. You guys have seen a lot of pictures of this. So let me walk you through some of the features on this. So the most important being the airflow. <clears throat> so there is the adjustment. You see the markings you get. You'll see a serial number on there and it's labeled with the name and everything. So the way this works is you can either use a fingernail to adjust it, but I like to use, especially since it doesn't get adjusted very often, um, a little flathead. And if you listen, that's wide open. And now, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but the adjustment is linear from open down to close, back to wide open. Now I run it wide open, and you'll see with the build that I'm going to do here, and we'll do a little tour on rebuilding. So the way that we build this is separate the deck from the tank. Pull this off. Put a new coil in here so I can show you that. The screw, pretty simple. I'll show you the airflow inserts as well. Okay, so there's the deck. There's C. You can see little notches there to hold down the coil. You see how easy that makes it to build. And then for the airflow inserts, and these come in 0 0.8 millimeters, 1 millimeter, and 1.2. So you just drop that right down on there, and then you just give it a little turn. if it, everything's if you're going to install one of these it helps if everything's sort of clean and dry to get a good grip but there you go there it is with the insert no tools required just screw it on screw it off swap them out again i run this wide open so i've got a coil here this is a two and a half millimeter coil and that's what I pretty much run everything and then so to build is ambidextrous you can build it this way if your coil is swapped around you can do it like that or if you build the opposite way or whatever either way very easy so let's loosen this up and loosen this Drop that coil in there, get it about centered. I like to take another screwdriver. Give it a little twist. Maybe I should put this mod, makes it a little easier. Just tighten that 
down. And take this one. centered nothing new here for most of the people watching this not much you can position it how you like I don't get too hung up on that stuff maybe about a millimeter over the coil take these clippers No, I, I've built this same build hundreds of times, so I don't usually check the resistance, but you should definitely check the position, resistance, especially on a brand new RTA, just to make sure everything is uh, as it should be but for this one. Uh, and this is <coughs> stainless steel 28 gauge. Now, for wicking. cotton bacon here and now for a two and a half millimeter coil I don't like to use too much like to use probably actually that's probably good and so I just give it a little twist and I'll show you this is this is the important part so for <coughs> an RTA that wicks like this you're gonna want to make sure you have enough cotton so I like to make sure the coil is nice and filled but it's not so tight <coughs> and here's the way I do it here's the way you should probably do it and it might take you one or two attempts to, to get it exactly where you like it I like to go about an inch Maybe 20 millimeters from the coil and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that Now the wicking on here, this isn't anything new. A lot of people here are probably familiar with this style of wicking. So you can drop that down. And now what you can do to make sure it's lined up is the, there's four air holes here. The ones to the side are always gonna be lined up with the side. So you can just line those directly up with each other. Push this down. Okay, so the, here's what I like to do. I like to, it took me one build where I didn't quite do it right and had a bunch of leaking. Second build, I had it pretty much right and then I've gotten it kind of a little better. So here's what I do. I take it right about here. Let me see if I can get this right on camera. And then do a little fold. And then you don't want to make sure that hole is completely blocked. I like to poke down into the sort of the base of it just to make sure there's no kind of crevices in the base underneath that cotton that you can't see. <clears throat> so with this style of wicking, since this is a top fill, you really wanna make sure this is covered. You know, it's not like some, like I guess the K-Fun 5, I haven't used the new K-Fun Prime or whatever, but that style, you just want the cotton kind of in front of the, the holes, and then the juice flow control is gonna turn it off when it's open, and the vacuum is gonna 
keep it so there's just a little bit of <clears throat> wicking uh, with this this is more trying to build sort of like a pre-made coil out of a rebuildable <clears throat> where you want that hole completely blocked same thing here so again take it kind of fold it back and then fold it in almost like a little Z or S shape I like to check, make sure the holes are completely covered, kind of push it right against there. cap on and then close it up okay mm. that's good all right so for the top fill you want to hold by the base of this twist This. Now, if you wicked it right, you shouldn't have any issues with leaking. You shouldn't have any issues with gurgling. Fill it up. And now here's the thing. You don't want to crank this top down. It's got O-rings. You just want it snug. That's it. You can hear no gurgling, no leaking with that top fill open for a little bit. Again, once you get good at the wicking, it, it becomes sort of second nature, it becomes easy, you do it quick. This is on the vector mod. And that's it. That's the whole RDA. RTA, excuse me. All right, guys. We'll have more up <clears throat> in the group soon. Stay tuned. Bye.